Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles Mystery Comic Book Long Box Search, number 17. Been a long time since I've just done one of these. And, uh, you know, I got that stuff out of the storage unit, did a whole batch of them, and kind of showed you some of the better stuff. And, uh, you know, I had a couple of people say, hey, we really miss doing that. So, Chad, Corey, I'm talking about you guys. So this, this one's for you. Um, I did grab a, uh, yeah, this isn't the only one. So there'll be a, there'll be a few more of these, not too many. Um, but let's go at it. Um, something that was interesting here. Uh, I picked this because of the box, because it was all stickered up, M6, uh, don't know, must have been an inventory number, it said coverless comics, which did not thrill me, so I did pull the lid off, and nothing coverless, and I don't know if you can see <laughs> that crossed out, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it. It actually shows up in the video better than the, the naked eye. Somebody crossed that. So I'm thinking, well, you got to sort through a box like that, you know. So, um, you know, let's have some fun with it. Uh, if you get a chance, guys, uh, click like, hit subscribe, send us your comments and questions. Check out our other unboxing videos. And, uh, okay, I've never heard of that. I have never heard of that. Ah, well, that I've heard of. Well, so far the crossed out part on the uh, the box has been correct. I'm not terribly impressed with this stuff. Those are all John Sables there. It wasn't really a bad series or anything, to be honest with you. I, I can't say that. I mean, it's Mike Grell. I don't even see the signature. So, if you like Mike Grell art, um, it's not a bad book. Oh, there's a Jughead. Archie's Cell, you know, dollar box stuff. All right, I think I've got enough room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide these up a little bit here so I can kind of thumb through the tops a little bit more on this one. They're packed pretty tight. Jughead, I'll pull them off the side for now. Yeah, I'm not seeing much for Justice there. Uh, well, there's different Justice. That's Mar. Yeah, that's the Marvel one. Uh, that was actually kind of a fun book. It was uh, kind of a pulp style. Jack Kirby did it, but it was kind of, uh, you can see up there, Doc Savage, so very 30s. Uh, kind of serialized pulp. Um, didn't last long. I don't rem remember how many issues there were. Weren't very many. And that one's really rough, so we're just going to leave leave that in there. So Mr. Miracle, uh, is that the annual? I think that's the, oh, a special number one. Uh, Justice League Europe. Uh, I'm going to take a few more of these out so we can see a little more of the cover. There we go. These old bags, they kind of melt, and they stick together. Um, so sometimes it's a little tricky getting these things separated. Uh, nothing, nothing really there. Trying to get, uh, oh, Kamikaze. I don't remember that title at all. There's so much indie stuff in the uh, late 80s and 90s. It's kind of fun, even though they're not high dollar, just to go through some of these things and just see, like, the preteen Dirty Jean Kung Fu Kangaroos. Yeah, I wonder who they're ripping off there, gunk, gunk, gunk. Uh, well, it's not radioactive adolescent black belt hamsters, but I think it's the same uh, kind of thing. There's another one. Preteen Dirty Jean Kung Fu Kangaroos. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull those out. I can't imagine they're worth much, but uh, fun books. A lot of people probably never seen them. Uh, Kickers, Inc. This new universe stuff was actually not a bad idea, but I tell you, it just never, never developed it. They just never really, I don't think, put the resources behind it. Uh, art and storyline. Uh, now, this is... Call is, is really nothing, but the Marvy, Marvy, Marvel movie specials 
are starting to sell. Uh, people are starting to fill in some collections on that. And I don't know, I'll pull it because it's the second one. That was a fun fun book, World of Krypton. I've never been a big Superman fan, but it, it was kind of an interesting, uh, you know, what was Krypton light kind of thing. Another Blackthorn Labor Force. Nope, never heard of him. Laughing Gas. Mutant Ninja Mutants. Okay. The Snail with the Samurai Sword. More Laughing Gas, so another parody book. Up oh, there's another uh, Phantom of the Bopera. Uh, Last Starfighter, it's a movie. So there's two. Three. It looks like I got some sets. I'll pull those out. They sell okay as sets, but not for uh, not for a lot. Fun book on Legends. Legion, one of my all-time favorite comics, but nobody collects them. Same with that. What in the world? Legentia? Leg Who the heck? Huh. Well, and again, I'll have to do some research. I have never seen that book before. Kind of interesting. Uh, Lord of the Realms. <coughs> uh, pretty well done book. Uh, Doug Manch, Pat Broderick. So you got good, good writer-artist uh, combo on there. Uh, didn't do very well, uh, as I recall, but it's a good book. Luger, no, I'm not familiar with that. Some, okay, cover art. I wonder if this wasn't a some sort of antique mall or flea market box, because it does look like everything's kind of alphabetized. I haven't heard of that. That's good. I don't think that's the first edition. That might be the reprint. I'll have to look. But the Madame Zadendu's nice covers. Oh, there's more Mys. I found those some in that big batch. I just kind of pull them if I can get a run together. It's uh, Manga from Japan. It's the American version. Uh, that was a fun story. I really enjoyed that one. Oh, Manimal. I don't know. That's the must be the TV show. They they don't sell, but I've never seen that. Okay, I gotta. There's the back. Kind of a Nazi horror thing. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. There's another My the Psychic Girl. I've had a few of those. They really don't sell. Man of Steel. Eh. You know, a lot of these are dollar, two dollar book stuff. Although, well, I don't know. Some of this stuff isn't going to sell at that price. I read this whole series. And I don't know why. It, it, it started out, it had some potential, but it never quite, I don't know. Kind of like a Martian Chronicles, Ray Bradbury kind of thing a little bit. Martian Manhunter, it was okay. Boy, I'm not seeing much for money books here. Right now this looks like a massive 50 cent or dollar box. Uh, yeah, it'll sell, but again, nothing. Some of these Marvel Universe, depending on which edition it is, I'll pull those and check them. They're worth a little bit. Oh, well, now here it's getting a little better. Mask. I'm just going to pull these. Okay, let's see what we got here. One, two, three number ones. And one, two, three number fours. If I can find some twos or threes, I might have them in some of the older older stuff. I'll have to look. Uh, those will be pretty good selling. Uh, if I can get the sets of them anyway. Oh, hey, I like that. Masters of the Universe, Star Comics. Number one, one, two, three, three of them. Boy, they look nice. Nice condition, too. Okay, that's that's the best stuff so far, money-wise, I think. Amazing Man, that was not a great series. Uh, some of these sell. It's got the... Um, oh, shoot, I can't remember the group in them. This is an offshoot. It was kind of a... Um, yeah, and after the... I don't know what you want to call it. Fem Force, that's who I'm thinking of. I'm going to pull those just because I might have some more. Uh, Megaton. Hmm. 
don't know. I'll pull it out just for some research. So finding, I tell you, I've been in this game long enough to see stuff that um, stumps me is kind of fun. I don't don't get that a lot anymore. Sure getting it in this box though. I don't know what that Merlin was. Midnight, Milton Knight's Midnight Rebel Skunk. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, no. Midnight Skulker. Duck Knight. Oh, that's a Frank Miller parody. I'm going to pull that. Oh, there's, and that was number, that was number two. Oh, there's three. That must be uh, Doctor Strange on there. Okay. And there's number four. Oh, that's too bad if I can find a one on there. This was a really nice line at uh, the MLJ, basically the Archie uh, heroes from the, um, well, all the way back to the 40s, really. But they came back um, as the Jaguar, the Fly, stuff like that um, back in the 60s, and then they revived them again. Uh, Rich Buckler art, so solid art on it. Uh, really, the, actually, it was a good book. It never caught on. Very crowded market. But if you kind of like that golden age, old school stuff, uh, not a bad book to pick up and read. Should be cheap. I don't think any of them are uh, worth hardly anything. There's a red circle. Those are a little harder to find. Uh, but I'm still not seeing them. Yeah, I don't know. I might pull those later. Send them in the maybe pile. Millennium, eh. This is an okay read. Miracle Family with Miracle Man. Uh, don't know. I'll do some research, but I doubt it. Boy, that used to be a hot book, that Miracle Man number one. Uh, kind of a revival. I'll pull it. I do have a few buyers for it. Oh, here's what happens when you... This is the book you make when you don't have uh, the Barbie copyright. Is You draw Barbie... And then call it Misty. And give her a little bit of a, a 40s uh, peekaboo do just to, you know, make it different. Uh, Star Comics and Into the Hearts of America. It's another title, though, I do not see a lot. I doubt it's worth anything, though. Mr. Cream Puff. Well, unfortunately, he seems to have the same dietitian I do. This is a good line really like the Mr. Monster. It's it's a parody satire kind of deal, but look at the bottom. We got Basil Wolverton's in there. Um, you know, I, I mean, it's just, it's, they're fun books. You don't want to take it too seriously, which is probably why it says Super Duper Special Number 2. I actually don't think I have this one for mine, so I'm going to pull those all out, see if I have it in my collection. It came from hell through the rinse cycle. Yeah, I got to I got to pull that one too. Uh, this was a good series. Came from the UK, so it's an import series. Uh, black and white. Um, well, I ran in black and white in their uh, newspapers a lot, and then they also had uh, separate comic editions, I believe. Uh, I don't know a lot about it. Uh, Max Allen Collins, uh, an Iowan, and Terry Beatty. Uh, and it ran on and off. There's more of them overseas than you see here. Uh, boy, that's a good book. I haven't had one of these for a really long time. Usually you get the Captain Io or something like that, but this is the Moonwalker one. That could be worth a little bit. I don't know. I haven't had one of those uh, Michael Jacksons in a really long time. Daniel Dust, kind of a Nor book and eh. Nazareth never heard of it never heard of it uh, Neil the horse uh, eh, never got into that psychedelic stuff if you like um, oh Rick and Morty and what's the other one some of that uh, I think it was Nickelodeon stuff you probably like that one too no nemesis and eh, and eh, and eh, and eh, eh. There's the reprint. Uh, that's the reprint of the new gods. Don't get a lot of demand for them. Pied Piper Comics is a really oddball indie book. I've seen them in the past. I don't know how much they've put out. Um, 
Not a lot is my guess. Uh, usually not worth anything though. Some new mutants. Teen Titans, that was another good run on that. I really enjoyed that Teen Titans run. Oh, that looks like a horror book. Doug Manch, Paul Galassi. I'm not I don't know McGregor. I don't think I do. I might know him. Huh. Well, I'll have to check that out. That might have to go my horror sci-fi pile, but I doubt it's worth anything. More new universe. Uh, I don't know. I'll check it. I haven't actually bothered to try and look up new universe stuff for a long time because it just doesn't seem to have much interest. Night music, sci-fi, fantasy. Well, all right. I'll, I'll give it a look. I have sold some of these. This is part of that uh, Fem Force again. Uh, this is Night Vale, and some of these are worth surprisingly good amount, good amount of money. Ten, twenty dollars each. Some are five. It does, yeah. And I don't know what the rhyme or reason is to it, but I will, uh, I will pull all those and at least do the research on it and uh, see what it's like. Ninja. I've had that book, but never really had any big call for it. There's Ninja High. I'll put that in the manga Japanese pile. Uh, they're not worth a ton, but they're they're good, and they're usually kitty safe. Oh, Normal Man. Yeah. Well, that's an homage cover, so there's your Tales of the Crypt uh, Haunt at the Vault of the Crypt Normal Man Two-Fisted Suspense Stories, so that might have uh, some collector stuff to it. There's the Richie Rich Normal Man cover. Homage to one of the Richie Rich books. I couldn't tell you which one. And there's another one. There's uh, homage to Elf Quest. That's about the only reason anybody buys them is just because of the homage covers. Or homage covers. Or homage covers. You can pronounce it however you want. I really don't care. Uh, Null Patrol. Another indie book not familiar with. Omega Man. Now I believe it was number 8 is the first Lobo. And I remember, oh, and we, yeah, we went right on by that. Darn. Uh, that's too bad. But if you like Lobo stuff, especially early Lobo stuff, Omega Man is the place to find him. And he really was just a side character in it. He was not the main, main feature. One-Armed Swordsman. Victory Comics. Holy cow. No idea. Kind of interesting, though. Mm, mm. I did like that uh, Maxi series. One of the first Maxi series I read as a kid. I uh, really liked it. I seem to be the only one. Nobody else seems to have even heard of it, but it's really interesting. I am not familiar with Outlander. Outsiders, eh, never. That's a different Outsiders, the first issue special. I think the only good one in that run is still the first appearance of Warlord. I'll pull it because it's an older book. I haven't had one for quite a while, so I will check on that. Looks like, um, oh, Captain Carey, yeah, uh, not so much. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so, you know, nothing super fantastic. I would say, you know, the mask... Is, and that Madame Xanadu and the, um, oh, I buried it here, I think. Where'd my, oh, shoot, where'd I bury it? Well, it's Masters of the Universe number one books. The three of those, I think, are definitely the, the best out of the batch. Um, anyway, I'll have a few more of these long box videos, and I'm going to do, right after this, I'm going to be shooting some more action figure box search videos. So check those out, and thanks for watching.